So the first pair of shoes or the first, I don't know, what am I going to start with? <laughs> They're honestly all over the place. I probably should have planned this better. Um, how am I going to do this? Hey guys, so today I wanted to come on here and talk about my luxury shoe collection. I have quite a few pairs of shoes, I think. Not as many as I would like, um, but I'm still growing this collection. So next beside me, I have kind of like, probably like, I want to say 13, 14, 15 to 20 pairs of shoes. Um... And these are just specifically my luxury shoes. So let's get into them. I don't even know if these are considered designer shoes. Honestly, I would, I feel like they're on the cusp of designer shoes. Like they're not really that expensive. And I feel like, I don't even know if they're that well known. But when I was in LA last year, I got these and... They're just a pair of really cute white mules. I've worn them like twice, but I feel like they haven't gotten adequate use out of me because I haven't really been anywhere where like these matched my outfit. But honestly, I think I'm going to try to wear these with like an all white outfit pretty soon. I think they're really cute and I got mine in a size 10 because your girl has big feet. So, yeah. So, the next two pairs of shoes are from one of my favorite brands out there. And it's Chanel. So, I have basically almost two of the same pair of shoes. Let me see which is which. So, these are the slingbacks. And they're just slip-on slingbacks. And they are the ones that have, like, the flat heel. I really like these and I really want to get these in a couple different colorways and I know they have one that's like kind of like fuzzy and I want to try to get those too um, but I love these these at one point were my everyday shoes I would wear these every single day I wore them to the beach which is really not smart I <laughs> they've gotten like water all over them I wore them walking all around Rome and these just are so comfy. Once you break them in, they're super comfortable. And I just, I think they're beautiful. So these have, like, I don't wear them much anymore because I got the second pair. But these are like a pair of shoes that I kind of don't want to get rid of. Even though one of my dogs took a little chunk out of it. You see that? And I don't know which dog it was. So I have an idea of which dog it was. Um, and it was just, it's just really sad. But anyways, neither here nor there. I really like these. And so I got these a couple months ago. Same exact pair, just with the heel. I just really love slingbacks, and specifically I love the look of a Chanel slingback. I mean, it basically goes with all my outfits, for the most part. And... My mom always talks crap about my shoe decisions because she says that these look like old women's shoes. But honestly, I think they're classic and beautiful and perfect. And I do not regret getting these at all. So yeah, mom. <laughs> Stuart Weitzman. Let's go into those because I have two Stuart Weitzman boots. One that gets worn every year for the past four or five years. And then one that has never been worn and I think will probably only see the light of day on Halloween. So, okay. So this is a pair of my Stuart Weitzman shoes that I have not worn. I got these about like two years ago. And they're intense. Um, they are satin. They are over the knee. What are they called? Um, high champ boots and I just have not decided when would be a good time to wear these other than if I'm dressing up as Superwoman for Halloween one year which I don't really dress up for Halloween so haven't gotten a chance to wear these and I've had them for almost three years and so you can see by the sole they've never been worn anywhere other than my living room so yeah I just 
I had high hopes for them, but it was like a wah, 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 like moment when I got them and I like I thought they were in leather, but when I found out or saw that they were in satin, I didn't want to return them, but it was just like I wanted the leather version and not the satin version, so that's why they haven't gotten worn. But I just for some reason refused to get rid of them. So yeah, they're one of my kind of I don't want to say worse luxury purchases but they might be they might be one of the worst because I've just never worn them and it's been three years which I feel like is excessive at best so whatever and then the second pair of Stuart Weitzman boots are ones like these were the first designer boots that I ever bought for myself these are like probably one of the first designer shoes that I ever bought for myself um and these get so much use out of me to the point where I'm gonna have to buy another pair soon. So these are my leather high champ boots. They are just so perfect. I honestly feel like they go with every outfit. I feel like I wear these so often. Like they go with every winter outfit that I have. If I'm just wearing like leggings or a dress or jeans and a sweater or a turtleneck or a blazer like I am today, they they just they just make me so happy. So <laughs> so I just I've worn these so much. I know I'm gonna have to go and buy another pair soon because these are getting beat up. Um, and again, when I first got these. One of my dogs, specifically the dog that you always see in my videos, that one, Teddy, chewed the hill. But even though he did that, I still get a lot of use out of them. I don't even look at that part. Nobody ever looks at that part because if you're that close to the heel of my shoe, then we got a problem. Um, so anyways... But these are definitely one of my favorites and I love these. They're like, this was like one of the best purchases I've ever made. One of the best. So Stuart Weitzman has one of my best and worst purchases. They have both for me. So next, I think we're gonna do um, Tom Ford. I only have, only have two pairs of Tom Ford shoes. Um, I might end up buying another pair of Tom Ford heels, but honestly, I find my Jimmy Choo heels to be the most comfortable and then my Manolo Blahniks to be the second most comfortable. So because of that, I don't really go out of my way to buy any other type of shoe. But these are just so pretty to me. These are the perfect shoe for like going out, for going to work like if you want to wear heels to work they just look so sleek and sexy to me and these are in a 40 and a half so they fit pretty well i just love the heel on these i think the heel just is so sexy to me um unfortunately i don't feel like i really wear these much anymore but they're just like the perfect black pumps i just I really, really love these so much. I've had so many good nights in these shoes. So even though they haven't gotten a lot of wear in the past year, I don't think I've worn them at all in the past 350 days. But even with that being said, I just, I can't get rid of them. So yeah, here they are. I love these, they're so pretty. The heel, like can we like just get into it? It's so fabulous. So then my second pair of Tom Ford heels, or not even heels, they're boots. Um, nobody really sees me ever wear these, actually. Um, how do I say it? These are different. They're different. These are it. Um, they remind me very much of The Nightmare Before Christmas. Very much, uh, what's his called? Um, Tim Burton. These give me Tim Burton vibes. Absolutely. I mean, the little teeny tiny heel in the back, Tim Burton vibes. Like, absolutely, 150%. 
I wear these sometimes if I'm wearing like an all black outfit with black leggings and um, like the black leggings go all the way down below my ankle. And like as long as like your ankle is not showing, I think these are cute. But they they are just different and they give me they give me Tim Burton the vibes, like I said. Definitely interesting type of shoe. Okay, so next we're gonna go into Gucci. I only have two pairs of shoes from Gucci as well. Um, I do wear my Gucci loafers almost every single like I wear them so often like I would say almost every single day I love that they have little bees and stars all over them obviously because my middle name is star and I just think it's really cute when shoes have like this like bee detailing on them I just love these so much one thing you'll notice if you pay attention is that my shoe size is all over the place it goes from a 39 and a half to a 40 to a 40 and a half to a 41 to a 40 and a half 40, to a 41 and a half to a 42 so within my shoes I have everything from a 39 and a half to a 42 so it can get really annoying sometimes trying to find shoes because I sometimes I just don't know what fits and it's just really irritating so yeah um these are my go-to loafers for sure and then these these are a pair of loafers that went like a couple years ago these were so like big everybody had them and i jumped on the bandwagon and i never wear these every time i wear these even if i just wear these as house shoes which i've tried they just make my feet so hot because of the fur like because of the fur inside it's just it's very uncomfortable it's super difficult to actually like wear them because they make my feet like burn up like oh it's really annoying and so I don't get much use out of these I actually just usually just put these up in my closet um and so why I think these are cute I just feel like they are very much a trend piece and so Again, these are definitely not the best purchase ever, but these are in a 40, which is interesting. So I have like these in a 40, these in a 39 and a half. So it's just interesting, but I do, I do really like Gucci loafers. I think they're really comfy and really cute. And I feel like if you can, you probably should try to get some, I mean, wouldn't hurt I love these shoes so much not these I love these so much so definitely don't regret my Gucci loafers I regret the fur inside of them but I don't regret the loafers in general anyways we're almost done I'm gonna kind of rush through the rest of this because we only have two actually three more brands so we have Dior Manolo Blahnik and Jimmy Choo so yeah so starting with Dior we have three pair of Dior shoes, okay? So, the first pair are these. And these are Dior tennis shoes that I, honestly, I wear all the time. But they are very clunky. They're very heavy and very clunky. And so... I actually try to not wear these as much because they're not the most comfortable work shoes if you're gonna be on your feet all day these are more so shoes that you would wear with a dress or with like a cute little outfit for just like a day out but like I would not make these an everyday shoe situation but I still think they're really pretty you know I like a lot of things about my Dior tennis shoes. I would actually buy these in black for sure. Um, and I would definitely consider buying more Dior sneakers. But these specifically are super heavy. And so you just have to be aware of that 
it's a very they are very clunky so your feet may feel like you're just like stomping around okay so just be aware of what you're getting yourself into the next two pairs i think actually no it's not two it's three next three pairs so what am i gonna open now okay so these are slingbacks and these are in a 42 big mistake should have got them in a 41 and a half but literally i can only wear these shoes when my feet are swollen because when i got these shoes my feet were swollen because i had just got off the airplane and i just had the most swollen feet ever so i got these in saint tropez and if you've ever seen the dior store in saint tropez oh my god if you haven't seen it you need to if you haven't been there you need to go the dior store in saint tropez is amazing and the chanel store in saint tropez is like unbelievable I just I love Saint Tropez so much so anyways I got these there and you know I was I just really wanted to buy something at Dior in Saint Tropez so I wasn't really thinking but I honestly should have got my feet were so swollen my ankles were so swollen it was a hot mess and I really should have got these in a size half a size down at least at least I could have done with the 41 I but I should have got like a 41 and a half but you know you live and you learn so and then the last two pairs of Dior shoes that I have are these so I uh, if you watched so I'm pretty sure these so I'm pretty sure I showed these in my haul video over the summer but I love these so much so much more than my Hermes sandals that I'm gonna show you in a second I love these so much. These are so comfortable. They're so cute. I feel like they go with everything. They could be house shoes if you wanted them to. They are just so perfect. I love these so, so much. The one thing that I started doing with my shoes when I get leather shoes, um, whether it's loafers or heels or um, sandals, the one thing that I do is I take a knife like a really sharp knife and I do crisscrosses on this part because if you don't and you walk on a slick floor you will bust your butt and I've done that too many times to count and I I can't explain how annoying and embarrassing that is so you need to like make sure there's a little bit of traction on the bottom of the shoe whether you put like a little sticker on the bottom um to help with traction or whether you just take a knife and you cut zigzags into the bottom it helps you it will help you so i recommend doing that i actually got that tip from steve harvey when he was like on instagram or something and he was showing how he was able to wear like brand new shoes on stage and he took a knife to him and he kind of like cut zigzags in it and it just gave him a little bit of traction so where he didn't fall and bust his butt. So, yeah, I would recommend that. So, next, I have, I think I actually, you know, am I missing a pair? I think I'm missing one of my um, Hermes sandals. So, I'm, I'm probably not going to worry too much about that because I'm just not. I have three pairs of Oran sandals. So I have the flat ones, and then these are a different name because they have a heel on them. But these, as much as I love these, are probably one of the worst purchases I've made. Other than the red Stuart Weitzman shoes, these are right up there because... Do you guys see that detail? You see that? That happened after one wear. That happened after one wear of walking around Paris in these shoes with sweaty feet. <laughs> it was really hot outside. It was like almost 103 degrees outside. I was walking around Paris in these shoes. And when I noticed that that detail happened, I was like, are you kidding me? I just feel like for as much money as you pay for shoes like that, that shouldn't happen. So it was really frustrating and it actually made me not want to buy Hermes sandals anymore. So I have never had an issue like that with these type of shoes. And I have these in the gold and I have these in the white. And I'm going to get them in the black 
and I think I might get them in the like like a um what was it called Himalayan print as well so we'll see on that but I love these and these I've worn these in the ocean I've worn these all over and walked miles and miles and miles in these and they're amazing you basically have to replace these every year you have to replace these quite often because they get nasty like these white ones are like disgusting honestly like I don't even know why I'm holding it this close to my face so but these are cute and they're still kind of new looking you know so so I'll keep these but I definitely want to get just like a nice pair of black ones and then a nice pair of like super bright colorful ones and then another pair of gold ones because even though I really like my Dior ones something about you know the Iran sandal or even the heeled version like I have which is obviously not called the Iran sandal it's called something else I just don't remember um I just I like these more as like a everyday like super casual look but again my mom says these are super basic and she can't believe that I like these I think she said they were ugly that's what she actually said but it's okay I did like a video um, talking about like my shoe collection years and years ago. I think my ex like got mad at me and like was like, hey, you need to take it down because I was talking trash about most of the Jimmy Choo shoes that he had bought me because they were just really like ugly and basic. But anyways, so from that haul, we have these. These are old. I don't wear them like anymore. The heel actually got like bent. You can't really tell, but the heel is super crooked um, from me putting it in a suitcase a couple years ago. And I guess I overpacked the suitcase and the heel got like something happened to the heel. I don't really know how to describe it other than like it's just I the shoes were never the same and they're just when you walk it you can feel when you walk in them you can feel that the heel is like off like it's a little bit crooked so I, I can't wear these anymore because of that um, until I take them to a cobbler but these are in a 39 and a half which is not my shoe size anymore when it comes to Jimmy Choo but I think because they're open toe that's why I could go down a couple sizes however these right here are my favorite pair of Jimmy Choo shoes. So these are so pretty to me. These are in a 41. And uh, let me see. They are called the Thandy. And I just think these are so pretty. They're such a pretty color. I wear these like all the time. These are the most comfortable shoes I have. I love slingbacks. If I didn't already say that three times in this video. Um, I think I need to say it again. I love slingbacks and these are just incredibly comfortable. But these, I love these so much. I, if, I'll put the name of them on the screen because the box, I think I threw the box somewhere in my closet. I don't know where the box is right now, okay? See that? That's what they look like. So they're like a navy blue-ish color and these are what these look like. These two type of shoes, these two shoes specifically, are my favorite shoes to wear. They're the most comfortable shoes I own. I just, I have nothing but amazing things to say about these shoes. And now, Manolos. We are done, almost. I have three pairs of Manolos to talk to you guys about. I'm going to be purchasing two or three more pairs of Manolos by the time I do another um, shoe haul. <laughs> so these hold on these are definitely probably the prettiest shoe I have and so I'm just going to show you guys one, one of each so these were the first pair that I got I love these shoes so much I think they look so amazing they're really comfy but unfortunately I haven't been able to wear these since St. Patrick's Day this is the last day I wore these shoes was on St. Patrick's Day so yeah and then these shoes are my newest pair of Manolos 
these are so pretty oh I know these are a type of Maysell shoe I think these might be like the bridal version but they're so fabulous like I mean come on these are probably my favorite pair but because they're like so white I don't wear them that often because I'm afraid of getting them dirty. I will be purchasing these in probably just like a regular like navy blue like suede style and then I'll wear them like all the time. But these are definitely for specifically for me like for the spring or if you're going to like a party or like for me I'll probably wear these like on Christmas or something even though I'm just going to be in a living room. So... I'll have to wear them with my pajamas but we'll see we'll see what happens <laughs> and then my last pair are these and these are called what are these called starts with the L these are called the sky oh <laughs> these are called the sky sand and these are so pretty as well so so pretty and sparkly I've never worn these, unfortunately. You can tell by the bottom. They've never gone outside, which is just really irritating. But they're so pretty. Like, you can't, I can't get over, I can't stress enough how pretty Manolo's are. These are just some of the prettiest shoes ever. That was my luxury shoe collection. I know it was kind of a long video, um, so hopefully you watched it to the end and hopefully you liked it. Um, funny enough though, I actually prefer to wear, like as my everyday shoes, my cheapest shoes that cost me like $14. <laughs> I wear these shoes every day, they're so comfy. I was recommended these from um, somebody who works and like on their feet all day and they are just so comfy so yeah while i think luxury is nice and all and luxury shoes are amazing i love them i honestly get more use out of my like 15 dollar shoes than i do out of my two thousand dollar shoes and i just think that's really interesting and something to put into perspective but yeah that's it guys so i hope you guys like this video if you do don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Let me know which shoe was your favorite, and also what shoe is on your wish list. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!